Is this drive fake? Or is it a real drive? We can actually check these things. You know, there are a lot of scams on Amazon and uh, a lot of sales. And it's like, oh man, there's a two terabyte drive and it's dirt cheap. I've got to pick this up. And you start using it and all of a sudden you're out of space on your drive. And you're wondering, what what happened? <laughs> there's, there's not that much stuff on it. So I'm gonna show you how to download Valid Drive from the GRC website and how to run it and validate your drive. Make sure that you're getting what you pay for. So this is uh, the Gibson Research Corporation. Uh, the website's been around for a really long time. The website is just grc.com. And this is the app Valid Drive. They have a bunch of really awesome freeware, by the way, that is totally worth checking out. And I think I'm gonna go over some of these apps uh, at some other point in the future to share with you guys, because I use them regularly. Anyways, here's Valid Drive. It says quickly spot check any USB mass storage drive for fraudulent deliberately missing storage. So I'm not going to go over a lot of the technical stuff on this uh, application because Steve actually does a really good job of it himself on this video exposing fraudulent drives with Vera Drive where uh, he talks about Valid Drive for the first time on uh, Twit. I'm gonna leave the link to this video in the description for that so you guys can go check that out. So this is what you're gonna see and I'm gonna show it to you in a moment uh, and explain how this works. But quickly, let's just go over the app so you know the origin of it. The drive maps above are typically of the fraudulent drives which are flooding the market. This shows a drive sold as two terabytes, which actually only contains 62 gigabytes of flash storage. Uh, please see Valid Drive's complete report about this drive below. They go on to say that while putting the finishing touches on the major update to Spinrite 6.1, one of Spinrite's pre-release testers encountered a drive that Spinrite flagged as unable to be used. It turned out this drive only contained storage at its front. After becoming aware of the significant problem in the industry, I purchased 12 inexpensive one and two terabyte drives from Amazon, and every one of them was a bogus fraudulent drive. Uh, so that's insane. This is obviously a huge problem on Amazon right now. Um, so an app like Validrive is super, super useful for everybody. In case you're curious, here are the Amazon links for the 12 drives above, which I purchased during September of 2023. So this is happening right now, folks. Um, if you're buying flash drives, it's really important that you're not buying some bunk units. And if you end up buying one, you know, unknowingly and you're able to test it with valid drive well send the drive back and get your money back and buy from a verified seller of a, you know a reputable brand for a flash drive at any rate why is this a serious problem at first this might seem like a minor annoyance you purchase one or two terabyte drives at a bargain price and you receive a 64 gigabyte drive instead but that's not what happens here the drive appears to be the one or two terabyte drive you purchased. You plug it into your computer and everything looks fine. You can even copy files to the drive, as many as you want. And when you look at the drive's contents, the files are there. But what's insidious is that the file contents may have never been stored. These fraudulent drives contain just enough storage, typically 64 gigabytes, to convincingly hold the file system's directory listing. But once the first 64 gigabytes of storage space has been filled, the contents of any additional files will not actually be stored. So that, that's, uh, that's totally insidious. That's a good word to describe it. It's super sneaky, uh, super fraudulent. Their names, dates, and sizes will be stored in the directory at the front of the drive. Everything will appear to be fine, but the file's contents will be blank because they were quote unquote stored where no storage exists. So super sketch guys. Operating systems do not verify that the data they write was actually written. They rely upon the honesty of storage devices to report errors. If a write error occurs, then the operating system will write the data elsewhere. But these deliberately fraudulent drives never report any problems. They just silently discard any data written where there's no storage. The first indication of a problem occurs when you attempt to read back a stored file. Even that will appear to work, but the file itself will be empty. 
So what does Valid Drive do? Valid Drive performs a quick random sequence spot check across the drive's entire declared storage space. At every location, it verifies the successful storage and retrieval of random unspoofable test data. A drive map that looks like this is what you hope to see. So we're going to see in a moment, once I plug in my brand new USB flash thumb drive, uh, and hopefully it looks like this. And if it doesn't, well, uh, I'll be setting my key back for sure. A map like those shown at the top of this play page are what you hope to never see. So you don't wanna see one with partial green or with red, let's scroll back up like this. So validated, just as they were saying, front end of the drive and there's no actual storage on it. This is the monochrome map uh, showing the same thing, but without colors. But wait, there's more, because of course there is. While Valid Drive is poking around your USB drive, it notes the length of time required for each random read and write access. Once it's finished, it analyzes and summarizes the drive's access time statistics in a final report. So that's really cool to have all that information. There's a, this is a report generated presumably by the key image that we saw above. So we're going to do this right now. Let's open up this this key and plug it into my computer and run Val Drive. So let's jump back to the desktop here and the flash drive is now plugged into my computer. Let's open up Vera Drive. We're going to get our user account control prompt. We're going to say yes. And this is Valid Drive. So all you have to do is click check USB drive. So let's do that. It says to introduce the drive you wish to validate. If the USB drive is currently inserted, physically remove it from the computer and wait a few moments for its removal to be recognized then insert the USB drive you wish to have validated and wait a few moments for the drive to be recognized. The screen will advance once the USB drive has been registered by Windows. So I'm going to unplug my drive and plug it back in. And of course, this is the drive that I want to validate. It's my one 28 gigabyte drive. It's registering in Windows is 124 gigabyte, but I'm going to click validate this drive. And there it goes. Reading and writing. All right, just like that, pretty simple and it's been validated. So this drive is completely legit. So yeah, next time you guys buy a USB key, make sure that you run Valid Drive on it. If you have any comments uh, or questions about Valid Drive, please let me know down in the comments. And uh, let me know, have you bought anything from Amazon and been scammed? I hope the answer is no, but it seems to be a very prevalent problem on Amazon right now, probably right across the internet. So I hope this protects you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.